I have to pick up whatever left of on purpose. <laughs> when my cat's still meowing. Um, wonderful example. We can never know what is good for somebody else. So in the same way, uh, my cat is not a fan of water. He can clean himself. He thinks that water is bad for me. <laughs> and he's worried. And I'm like, I love water. I can soak in this bathtub for until the water gets cold. Uh, so a lot of times we can think of certain situations that we're doing good for somebody by helping them what we think is good without them asking. But we truly don't know what is good for anyone because every soul has a different journey that it needs to walk. And a lot of times, most times, we learn through suffering and difficulty. Uh, so if we try to rescue somebody, uh, we could do harm to themselves and us because we will not be doing what we're supposed to do. Thinking that we're doing something that they're supposed to do for them. And we create those big messes. Whereas if we, if we simply stay true to ourselves and follow what we feel is right for us and do ourselves and don't get swayed by external influences and trying to save people uh, then we are truly on purpose and if we're in a position to actually help somebody it will happen effortlessly and naturally and it wouldn't feel like a chore and it wouldn't feel like we're sacrificing and we wouldn't be a victim or a martyr but it will come from a place of overflow and joy like, I'm sure this happened to you many times. Let's say you're walking down the street and somebody's going in or coming out of a store or something and their hands are full uh, and you happen to be at the right place at the right time. And as you're walking by, you simply see what's happening and open the door for them. <laughs> and they walk through and you keep going. <laughs> and sometimes there's not even a chance for them to say thank you, they just look at you with bewilderment, like, huh, what happened? How were you right there when I needed you? And you just smile because there was no effort on your part exerted and it just brought you joy to be of service at that moment. And uh, this is true service from the flow when you are following uh, yourself. Uh, and not that idea of service that I need to sacrifice my life for a cause. Um, that oftentimes is actually not fulfilling any purpose. And instead of helping, a lot of times it's hindering. I saw that with the little continuation I wanted to add. And I also thought of this song, you know, What a Wonderful World. And we could see it, like there are all these problems happening and wars and death and calamity. But a lot of times these events bring people together. And that's what is needed for the elevation of consciousness, the understanding about love and connection and being able to rely on one another. So again, we never know what is good and what serves what kind of purpose. But we always know how we feel and we can always tap into our own intuition and get in touch with our own desires and see and feel when something is ending and when something else is calling us and accept it and move with the change or stay stagnant or move or stay stagnant or go back and forth for a little bit until finally we're like okay i'm ready i'm gonna do that push because i know ultimately that's going to be good for me and you feel all the fear and you do it anyway and after you do it you think why was I so afraid? I just don't get it. It was much easier and simpler than I thought. But you had to go through this whole process to gather the energy to step into the new.